Hey, what's up guys? So welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will be introducing fast traveling. So I've downloaded this horse off the asset store. You can get it. It's fully free. I've added this little player character over here. And basically how it works is when you walk inside a trigger, it prompts you to teleport to these three locations. It can be a set number of locations you can choose. You choose the locations, you choose everything. This is just an example. You click on one of the buttons and uh, you get presented with this loading screen, which is like a, um, how do I say, like a fast traveling loading screen. You can make it whatever you want. You can make it an animation. You can make it literally whatever. I just made a, put a simple texture in front of a camera and uh, set that as the loading screen. Um, if you want me to do a video on making things look pretty on everything that we did in this series, comment down below. Also comment if you like the video and um, if you like the series, if it helps you, if you've actually been able to create anything and if you have, um, feel free to link it to me. So um, another thing we want to do, well, let me just close off Skype for a second. Yeah, so um, basically it teleports you, uh, it disables you from moving for a couple of seconds uh, till the loading screen is done and when the loading screen is done, you get to move around. Um, it's pretty cool. It's a simple concept, really. I'll show the script right now. So, here we have a couple of things. Because we're using the standard uh, assets, the characters, the third-person character, if you've been following the tutorial series, you're going to need this because we're using the Unity standard assets characters. Um, on the start function, we have a game object which is called the travel camera. This is basically the camera that I use. Uh, let me show you. So, this is the loading setup that I made. I'll show you how you set it up, but basically it's a camera that um, shows the uh, travel screen. So this is the camera. It's basically the whole uh, loading setup, if I'm uh, correct. Let me just find it. Um, travel, where is it? Travel, fast travel. Yeah, it's the whole, uh, it's the fast travel cam. Um, the next thing we have is a game object called Fast Travel UI. This is basically the UI that appears when we um, enter the trigger. This is the travel UI with the buttons that we click on to teleport or to travel. And we have a public transform, a array of transforms, which, which are the travel positions where you teleport to. Now, I've explained uh, the arrays in my previous video. You'll, the link is in the description. It's about the inventory system, so I hope you guys can check that out. And we have the third person user control, character control. This basically is a reference that we use this to get a reference of the uh, third person control script on our player character. So we can disable it so we cannot move for a couple of seconds until we've uh, loaded the new, um, until we basically like teleport, teleport it. So yeah. Um, in the start function, we say that the travel camera is set active false and the fast travel UI is false because we do not want to see the loading and the travel camera on the beginning. We have the player .game object find the tag player. So basically, we find the player. Now, you have to make your third person controller tagged player. You basically go to tag and tag it player. Player is an already defined tag. If you do not have it, click on add tag and just click plus and type player. Um, after that, we, um, um, what else we do? We find the, when we find the player, now that we found it, it basically found a game object that's tagged player. The next thing it does, it's, it goes to, uh, it finds the character control, the third person user control script on the player. So basically it, it the player that we found over here, it, you, the thing that we uh, found here it gets its component, the third person user control. So at first it finds in a game object with the tag player. And after that, it uses that game object that it found and it accesses it. It's a third person user control script. After that, um, on trigger enter, this just checks. Um, I haven't, uh, yeah. So this just checks if the, um, uh, if the thing collided with the, uh, the trigger is a player. So if, it, if it's just this tag player. So once again, you have to tag your game object, your third person controller, a player. And um, it, before that, I just set the cruiser to visible and cruiser lock mode to none because uh, the their third person controller, it um, automatically by start, it uh, locks your cruiser into the center and it uh, makes it invisible. So I just did this, uh, I just make our cruiser visible and the lock state to none so we can move it around so it's not locked in the middle of the screen. So we can click on the buttons. And uh, if we collide with the collider, it says fast travel UI dot set active true. And when we exit the trigger, it just sets it to false. So now this is where the thing comes. 
Um, this is a, a concept used in the inventory system script. It's similar, so I'll just explain it briefly. Basically, there's a, this void called travel2, and when we click the button, because Unity UI, the new UI is set up, so the button script, um, it has a on-click function that you can access. You basically drag the, drag the game object with, that you want to do something with on-click. So basically, you... Um, Act, uh, drag the fast travel the the cube that you enter where the fast travel script is on and you can access all of its uh, things so I, I you can access the cubes uh, mesh render the box glider the transform anything but since you want to access the script we click on the script and we find its travel to uh, function that we've set to public so we can access it it takes in an integer position index. Uh, why we do this is uh, you'll see over here, but basically um, it's this is a temporary um, uh, variable. If, you do, if you're new to scripting, you might not understand this, but I'll try my best to explain it right now. So before we do that, we just set the travel camera to true and character control dot enabled false. So we disable the, um, the user control so we cannot move around. And we set the travel camera to true because we want to be able to see like the loading, the thing that happened. So yeah. Now uh, the player dot transform dot position is travel position position index dot position. So what this basically does, it it accesses the player's transform dot position. So it accesses this player that we found earlier in the script over here. It accesses its transform dot position and it changes these values to the according uh, transform value um, it does that this by make we do this by making this equal to the travel position so the travel position and the index uh, is the position index that we take here and dot position so basically um, let me open up paint if you guys do not understand this so we have have a couple of fast travel uh, locations and um, because it's an array Arrays, um, basically they are a couple of um, game uh, objects or things, uh, variables of the same type. Um, in this um, particular uh, example, it's a transform. So it takes a couple of transform types. So now we have, the, for example, if we want like three uh, transform uh, teleport, uh, fucking tra fast travel positions, um, we are going to have, for example, the first one is going to be a swamp. The second one is going to be a city, and the third one is going to be a village. They're all represented by an index because that's how arrays work. The first one is on uh, by default a zero. The second one is a one. The third one a two, etc. So it's basically n minus one. And uh, because the first one is zero, the second one one, and the third one is two, we uh, we uh, access these transforms with its index. So the index that we um, put in here is the 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 transform where we're going to teleport if you still do not understand you'll see later when i set it up in the buttons but basically um the buttons they have a um sort of the on click the fast travel to fast travel as you can see the travel uh, to uh, public void it takes in an integer the position index and that index is going to represent to which transform location we want to teleport to because when you go on to fast travel, it see the array takes three elements, 0, 1, and 2. And basically, uh, all of them have an according transform, which is this one, this one, and this one. So the, the one uh, that's um, with the index um, 0, it's this one. The one with the index 1 is this one. And the, third, the second one is this one. So basically, um, that's how it works. When I, um, if I, on the button one, if I put the zero index, it's going to access the element zero, which is this element. The second button is going to access the element one, which is this element, and I put it to this one. And so on for the third one. So I hope you understand now. So later I'm just going to show you how you set that up. And yeah, let me just explain the rest of the script. After that. After we change the position, I start a quarantine called loading, um, which where I wait five seconds, and then I enable back the character control and the travel camera. 
uh, this is just for um, basically making it like wait five seconds on uh, this uh, fast travel camera this is how the camera preview works basically you see this for five seconds and uh, then you see your character normally on the new uh, transform position so how you basically set this up is um, you make a um, one second sorry uh, so you make a uh, cube or whatever that you want your character to collide with uh, in my case it's a fast travel it's a cube you add the fast travel script for the travel camera you put your loading setup I've made it like this so I've created a camera and I uh, set the camera to be an orthographic projection I've changed the size because I do I do want it uh, I do not want to display the planes uh, like uh, behind it I've set it to orthographic because then it doesn't have death when you set it to perspective it has death which we do not want I've changed the depth to 0 to 1 and I've changed my character's uh, camera let me just find it I think it's this one I've changed it to be 0 because the camera with the smaller depth is always going to show up first so we do not want this to show up first we want this to show up first um, after I done that uh, this is just the I can make a better video a new video making this look prettier for example adding some animations etc but for right right now it's uh, just for explanatory purposes so it's like this uh, now about the buttons and actually um, making it so you can teleport I basically I've created this uh, travel UI that's um, sustained let me just uh, Close the symmetry tab so you can see better. So I made these uh, three buttons. You go, you do that by clicking UI and create a uh, button. Um, so let's let me just show you the button. Basically, um, I've changed the text to be. You can make it like say swamp or wherever you want to teleport. You can make this look pretty. But uh, the thing is, you, when you go to the button, this part is important. Uh, the on click function. You add a new function and you add the um, fast travel the cube where you or the thing that you collide with you add that make sure that the thing that the, the fast travel script is on is tagged is trigger because that um, that is responsible for um, uh, seeing if you triggered if you collided but if the trigger is um, one if it's true um, so in the button set the on click to fast travel and you can see all of its uh, things over here but we do want to mess with the uh, public void that we stated in the fast travel script so hover over that and select the travel to int and then just change the index to the index you want so i've created three buttons just make one and then like duplicate them like put them on the side you can make them like look better you can align them you can do whatever and just change the um indexes to one two one two and the three so i've done that over here and um yeah i've done that over here one two and three and on the end just create an empty game object store it in your um canvas and uh, put the three buttons in that empty game object um so after that uh, go to the fast travel where the script is at and just travel that empty game object well it's not empty anymore uh, the object with all of the buttons just drag it over here and um make your transforms and uh, make your like um travel positions you create that by creating an empty and uh, let me just find a you basically um create an empty and um you align the uh, you put the transforms anywhere in the world. So I created one. You can create as many as you want. Basically, I made the three already, and then you just um, put them accordingly over here. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. It's a pretty neat little function to be able to fast travel. Uh, pretty fun. So here you see the loading screen again, and after five seconds have passed, you've uh, you can move around. You can teleport. So it's a pretty cool, neat little function. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, tell me in the comments if it works uh, for you. If it doesn't, if you like the series, I'm really, um, I'm really eager to hear your input on all of the things I've been doing. I've been putting in work, and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, if you really enjoy my work and want to support me, you guys can donate to me with in the link in the description. Uh, donators get some privileges for example you get to add me on Skype you get to contact me if you have any troubles 
any deeper uh, problems that you need help with, with solving, I'll help you there. And uh, I'll also send you the whole project when, I've, when I'm done with the series, so you do not have to go through the um, episodes and uh, just like copy everything and get the script, do it for yourself. You can just, you're, you're going to get uh, this whole project and you can do whatever you want with it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. Uh, if you do, leave a like and subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.